Muskogee Media has several long-term stories that we are monitoring. Here's an update on ongoing coverage. In the Muskogee Creek Nation District Court, former MCN National Council Representative Travis Scott has a pretrial conference hearing scheduled for August 1st. Scott was charged with felony false swearing and four misdemeanor charges of conflict of interest by a tribal official on February 11, 2022. These charges were filed in relation to Scott's impeachment, which was found unconstitutional by the MCN Supreme Court. MCN National Council Representative Joseph Hicks is scheduled to appear in court on July 7th for his second misdemeanor DUI charge, filed on February 14th. The trial for Rhonda Grayson and Jeffrey Kennedy's suit against the MCN Citizenship board concluded April 4th, 2023. It has been close to two months and no decision has been delivered. Moving on to the Oklahoma Supreme Court, Muskogee Creek citizen Alicia Strobel was handed a win last year when an administrative law judge for the Oklahoma Tax Commission ruled that she was exempt from paying state income taxes. Strobel is a tribal citizen that worked for the MCN government and resided in the reservation boundaries. The Oklahoma Administrative Code delineated the following, quote, instances in which income is exempt. The income of an enrolled member of a federally recognized Indian tribe shall be exempt from Oklahoma individual income tax when 1. The member is living within Indian country under the jurisdiction of the tribe to which the member belongs and the income is earned from sources within Indian country under the jurisdiction of the tribe to which the member belongs. Although the code appears to be cut and dried, the tax commission decided that their own judge got it wrong and rejected Strobel's appeal. After the tax commission decision, an appeal was filed and the Oklahoma Supreme Court decided to retain the case instead of assigning it to the Oklahoma Court of Civil Appeals. The Muscogee Creek Nation, Seminole Nation, Cherokee Nation, Chickasaw and Choctaw Nation have all filed briefs supporting Strobel in the case. The Oklahoma Supreme Court has not decided at this stage whether oral arguments will be heard in the case or if the justices will simply decide the matter based on the briefs. Muskogee Media will report the court's decision as soon as it is available. An update on Bacon College. Bacon College has been put on heightened cash monitoring by the U.S. Department of Education. Heightened cash monitoring is instituted by the department when colleges or universities have a number of financial or federal compliance issues. Muskogee Media previously reported on a Higher Learning Commission accreditation complaint filed by a former Bacon employee against the college. The complaint alleged that Bacon had Clary Act violations that had resulted in a $200,000 fine. Muskogee Media has since received a statement from a spokesperson at the Department of Education on the fines. According to the statement, quote, as of October 2022, the fine is still pending. Fines are not reported to the public page until they are imposed, end quote. Muskogee Media will continue to monitor these stories and publish updates when available.